is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have something that i have personally never done here on the channel but i find the series quite interesting um i do believe that wrestling day started and is the only one that has done this series before it's where he covers every single action figure of a single superstar from mattel and i am i, I love this series i think he does a wonderful job going through the figures but i wanted to choose a couple dudes that he has not quite covered yet so i figured why not go ahead and do the hardy boys you know we have seen um, a lot of figures of them released from Mattel and I thought it would be cool to go through them and let you guys know every single Mattel action figure besides the Bendem series I'm pretty sure that uh, they have released of the Hardy Boys thus far Matt and Jeff Hardy guys so let's go ahead and get straight into it Alright guys, starting things off, I'm not going to be going in any particular order, but right here we have the Basic Series or WWE Series 4 Matt Hardy Basic. I believe this is one of the first Matt Hardy figures released by Mattel, and I do believe this was the first ever Basic Matt Hardy. Next up, guys, we have another basic Matt Hardy, but this time it comes in a Battle Pack. Battle Pack Series 8 with the Great Kali is this beautiful-looking Matt Hardy. Love the head scan and love the attire, but we have the first ever Battle Pack Matt Hardy. Next up is another basic Matt Hardy, guys, and it is the best of pay-per-view WrestleMania 24, I do believe. It may be 25 or 26. I can't read the chair there, but this is a basic Matt Hardy from earlier series Mattel. Next up, guys, we have our first elites on this list. It is the WWE Shop exclusive two-pack Hardy Boys. These were fantastic when they first came out. I'm still hyped for them. They look beautiful here in the images, and we are getting those brand new ringside exclusive Hardy Boys that I guess I can go ahead and show off now. These are the two newest ringside exclusives to the Hardy Boys. We're getting a brand new two-pack of a Attitude Era Hardy Boys, which are here, and it's so amazing. We have now a then, now, and forever sort of set, if you think about it. We have the ringside exclusive, these. We we have the WWE shop, which is sort of, you know, a middle of the career. And then we have the Epic Moments, which is, you know, the most recent two-pack of them. So how cool is it that we have sort of one from each era of the Hardy Boys here in elite two-pack form? And speaking of the Epic Moments Hardy Boys, look at how beautiful, guys. I think this is one of the greatest sets that Mattel's ever released here. When they showed up at WrestleMania, I think that is one of my favorite moments that I can remember as a wrestling fan. And this this two-pack totally commemorates it, the Team Extreme custom box. And I think this was the first Epic Moments, if I'm correct, was this Extreme uh, Team Extreme two-pack Hardy Boys. If it wasn't this, it was the Festival of Friendship. But this is fantastic. Love these figures and definitely probably the best WWE Mattel Elite Hardy Boys. Switching gears here, guys, we have the Zombie Mattel version of Matt and Jeff Hardy here in the basic zombie wave. Never was a big fan of these figures, but these do look really cool. You get tons of cool detail and new molds with their arms. So these are pretty cool. I'm not that into them, but they're pretty cool to look at. Next up, guys, we have the controversial Elite Series 1 Jeff Hardy. Yes, this was probably one of the first figures ever made by Mattel, especially in the Elite figures. We have Jeff Hardy Elite Series 1. Obviously, only a couple sets made it to the stores. You know, then he got released by WWE. They then pulled him from shelves. And uh, then, you know, it was a rush. You know, people were stealing him from Chinese, you know, manufacturing companies and all this crazy stuff. And this, this figure is definitely controversial. It used to be probably the most sought-after Mattel figure ever until the entrance greats figure did release and i guess we can go ahead and take a look at that now we have the entrance greats which is pretty much a re-release of the elite series one jeff hardy and i know tons of people love this figure i love this figure one of my favorite figures that mattel's ever made and it's so cool to see that they you know borrowed the inspiration they knew that this figure would sell well so they went ahead and pretty much made a direct copy of the elite series one and here you go with the beautiful entrance greats jeff hardy elite Staying on Elite Hardy, boys, guys, we have the Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. I know everybody loves this figure. The shirtless Jeff Hardy with all the tattoo details. Highly sought after. This figure actually goes for like $30 to $40 still now today. So this is definitely a sought after figure, and it is a nice Jeff Hardy that is shirtless. We have the Elite Series 2 Matt Hardy, which is the first ever Elite Series Matt Hardy. You know, this came one series after Brother Jeff, so I guess they wanted to knock out the Hardy boys. They knew they'd sell well. So this Elite Series 2 Matt Hardy, you know, the head scan we've seen reused in the 2-pack, the WWE Shop 2-pack. And this also has a really cool cloth entrance uh, cloth accessory there to entrance with him, and he, he looks great. I love this accessory so much. A lot of people use it for Finn Balor and such and pick feds and stuff, so that's really cool. We have the Elite Series 58 Matt Hardy with sort of his delete head scan, you know, the green pants. I love this figure. I actually had multiple copies of this figure. Um, I love the green pants. I like the saturation color of it, and uh, I actually did a head swap with this in my Epic Moments Matt Hardy and made it look a ton times better, so 
even though the original head scan is really nice, um, you can do some really cool fix-ups with these Matt Hardy. You really don't realize how many Matt Hardy Elite figures there are until I made this video, guys. It's kind of insane how many we got here. Next up, we have a battle pack. This is the most recent battle pack. I think we saw this at Toy Fair, or we saw that Ringside did post these up on Instagram. This is, I don't remember the battle pack series, but this is the most recent. We've seen this Matt Hardy attire multiple times, and then this is, of course, the rainbow sleeves for Jeff, and this is the newest battle pack from Mattel of the Hardy Boys. Next is the most recent Elite Jeff Hardy, Elite Series 67. This is not quite released yet, but it is up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles. I can't wait for this thing. I love the sleeves. I love the screaming head scan. Can't wait to see what customizers can do with this. We get the U.S. title with this thing, and I'm super duper excited for it. We also have the Chase Variant Jeff Hardy, which is sort of the 4th of July United States Champion attire, which is slightly different. I think I like the regular version better. I feel like this one's face paint may be a bit off or something. I don't really know, but I can't wait to do fix-ups and different customs with these Hardys. Probably going to have to pick up quite a number of uh, not only the Chase variant, but the regular version of Elite 60, Series 67 Jeff Hardy. Next up, guys, we have three different basic figure Matt Hardys. Yes, I did say different. We have the WrestleMania 35 basic on the left with the... he. This is the attire he wore when he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania. Then we have the Basic Series 94 Chase variant. Matt Hardy on the right with the Mower of Lawns t-shirt, which I like. And then in the middle, we have the regular version of Basic Series 94 Matt Hardy or Woken Matt Hardy with the just, you know, the delete, delete, delete t-shirt. And I like all three of these individually. I think it's kind of crazy, though, that we have so many. If I had to pick just one, I would go with the Mower of Lawns. I just love that t-shirt. I would hope that maybe in the future we can get an actual cloth t-shirt of this. I would like to rock that in the pick fed or something with Matt Hardy. So that is something I would like to see is that in elite form or at least just the cloth shirt accessory. Next up, guys, we have Basic Series 92 Jeff Hardy. A lot of people love the head scan on this. It's pretty much like a cross between the Epic Moments Jeff Hardy head scan with true effects on the WWE Shop exclusive Hardy Boys um, Elite Jeff. This is pretty much that figure in basic form with the Epic Moments True Effects head scan. And this figure looks dope. I've seen a lot of people head swap it and stuff, and it is very nice. I personally do not own it just yet. Probably waiting on it to hit retail, but this is a nice Jeff Hardy basic figure. Next is the second Elite Matt Hardy figure ever made by Mattel. Elite Series 6 Matt Hardy in the purple attire. Really love this t-shirt. Love the head scan. Love the attire. Really great. You know, we don't really get to see purple attires, especially from Mattel. I really can't think of anybody else. Maybe Zack Ryder and uh, maybe the new Cedric Alexander coming out. There's not a lot of purple going around. So this is a really nice Matt Hardy. I know a lot of people use this shirt for Jeff's and different Matt Hardy fix-ups and stuff like that. So this is definitely one of the most sought-after Matt Hardy elites. This and the Elite 2 definitely go for a a lot of money and um, you can probably find it for 30 or 40 bucks on eBay loose so I can't imagine a mock figure of this Elite Series 6. It looks great. Great figure overall. Next up, guys, we have another Battle Pack. It is Battle Pack Series 52 featuring the Hardy Boys. We got the black tank top Matt Hardy in the silver pants and then Jeff in his long purple sleeves. Great looking head scans on these. It's basically just a basic version of the Epic Moments. Obviously different attires, but they are the same head scans. It's no true effects and these are still pretty solid basic figures. Next up, guys, we do have a ringside exclusive, and it is the ringside exclusive ECW Matt Hardy Elite. I like this figure a ton. I love the pants. I, I'm not big on the head scan, but I do love that they paint it on the elbow pads. We get the interchangeable hands. You get a really nice championship title. This is the first time we're seeing this ECW title with this ringside exclusive Matt Hardy. I want to get a couple of these for different fix-ups. Again, you get all these different attires. You want to do the head swaps. You want to get some different looks of Matt Hardy because he, he, he has rocked you know, similar pants with different looks with his hair and stuff so you can make some really cool figures that way another elite matt hardy we have right here guys is the summer slam i think 2017 it could be 2018 I, I don't remember the the year this released i think it was 2017 i can't remember anyways getting into the figure you have the white attire i obviously love the color white i love the accessories the v1 shirt is so beautiful again it's the same head scan as the ringside exclusive or the ecw matt hardy so that's kind of unfortunate but this one i don't think had the true effects just yet so it's a bit more cartoon and this is actually the first ever figure from Mattel that included interchangeable hands with the V1 and it was very nice and to this day we get interchangeable hands so you could say that this SummerSlam Matt Hardy right here set the tone for the rest of the series starting in Elite Series 63 so what an epic figure love this figure and now I think this is the last figure that we're going to talk about for every single Mattel Jeff and Matt Hardy figure uh, not counting the Bendums or whatever those weird figures were um, I know there was a couple Matt Hardy Party figures in that series, but 
this WrestleMania 35 battle pack with Edge and Jeff Hardy from WrestleMania. Obviously, this is the matchup from the, the TLC Triangle Ladder match where Edge speared Jeff Hardy from hanging from the championship. Very epic moment. I think it would have been cooler to give us an epic moment set um, with all these different figures. And we have seen this Jeff Hardy head scan on the brand new two-pack Hardy Boy Elite ringside exclusives. And obviously, it's repainted and it has true effects, but this is where it originated. And um, great looking battle pack. I never picked it up personally. I didn't think that the Jeff Hardy head scan was the greatest and they keep reusing that same edge battle pack head scan But that's not what this video is about uh, We're talking about the Hardy boys and I think that pretty much does it for every single Mattel basic battle pack elite Elite 2-pack Hardy Boy figures. I could be missing some. If I'm missing some, please let me know down in the comment section below. There may be um, an older basic or battle pack that I'm missing. I call myself, you know, thinking of every single release of Matt and Jeff Hardy from Mattel so far. But uh, let me know down in the comment section below if I missed it. Again, huge shout out to Wrestling Days just for the inspiration and idea for this video. Again, he's done multiple guys on his channel. If you're interested, go over to his channel, guys. He has done quite a number of people, and um, I may do this in the future. I don't know. I just figured I'd try it out, see how it went. I love the Hardy Boys, two of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so I figure what a great way to start off the series if we continue it then with the Hardy Boys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below your favorite Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy figures that Mattel's ever done. Which figures would you like to see of them in the future? Subscribe to the channel for epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.